607. Good morning, Russ. Good morning, Mary. Yeah, lovely day yesterday. We'll change things up a little bit here with your Tuesday forecast. Although, having said that, I think we'll wrap up today in the sunshine again. It's that it's early on we're seeing a bit of extra cloud cover. So put together a little bit of a complicated satellite analysis over the eastern Pacific here just to tell you what's going on. The warmer value jet stream bringing all that rain to the California coastline again. A little bit of that moisture becomes entrained in this circulation around this sort of double barreled low off the coastline. Our high pressure ridge, it's getting squeezed out, which means lots of sunshine still for the interior regions and all across parts of the caribou, the central interior, the north coast looking nice. Extra clouds now spreading in over the southern interior as that ridge begins to get squeezed out. And the circulation around this twinning, twinning low here drags colder air into the main circulation off the shoreline, which starts to drag some of those clouds up from Washington State. It'll be trending overcast temporarily this morning. Sun comes out again this afternoon, and then things get interesting in the second half of the week. So we'll look at those clouds right now, which are beginning to fan out across the lower mainland. It was clear at about 2 or 3 o'clock this morning. Now it's rapidly trending overcast. I still think we're going to get a nice break in the action this afternoon. The sun comes out again temporarily for a high near 6 degrees. Now here are the bigger changes. It clouds over Wednesday, and this time in the afternoon and the evening, a developing chance of rain showers. Trouble is, there's some colder air over the mountains, and that means that higher terrain along the north shore, inland routes through the Fraser Valley, you're going to see some slush tomorrow, a bit of wet snow in the mix. Probably not for Metro Vancouver in the city center, not for the coastline where it'll be cold and wet. But getting to Thursday, it's even chillier, and that snow line comes right down to the deck. We may end up with showers or flurries at any elevation all around the lower mainland. One more snow event yet to get through, and then by Friday, it dries up and begins to clear just a little bit. Have a look at the weekend weather pattern. The normal high is 10 degrees, and we finally get there. The sun coming out Saturday and Sunday. Great timing, especially with more wetter weather on the way for Monday. We might start finally trending towards something warmer and wetter, Thor, but it's a little ways off yet. 